Today we're taking a tour around one of the most scenic parts of the Poconos, not by car, train, or plane, but rather by trolley. Are we ready? Yeah! The trolley was once an important part of public transportation in the Delaware Water Gap area. Now a century later, it's back and operating from the same spot. Only this time, not to transport tourists, but primarily to teach them. Hello everyone, I'm Pocono Joe. I'll be your Pocono tour guide today. The Pocono Historic Trolley Tour takes riders to local landmarks, including the Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort, which hosted celebrities like Jackie Gleason, Arnold Palmer, and Lucille Ball. Swing by the iconic Shawnee Playhouse and the Deerhead Inn the country's oldest continuously running jazz club, where the legendary Bob DeRoe of Schoolhouse Rock often performed. Take a brief break in the borough of Portland, where you'll explore shops and take in views of the Delaware River. Well, we saw it in, one, in, in an ad in one of the Pocono Mountains magazines. And so we called this morning and said, are you running? And they said, absolutely. So we came down and checked it out and got on. The Wearing Blender. The narrated tours offered by Pocono Day Tripper are now in their second season, but just began operating from one of the original trolley stops at the Castle Inn, a once popular and grand resort in Delaware Water Gap. It's a challenge at best to do what I did, uh, but it's so rewarding when I see all these smiling faces coming off and they tell me how much they enjoyed the tour and how much they enjoyed the history of the tour. That brings a lot to me. That, makes, that means everything to me. Built in 1906, the Castle Inn was the area's first resort with running spring water and electricity. It also served as a training camp for big name boxers like James Braddock, known as Cinderella Man. After the inn closed, the famous Fred Waring, who you might associate with the Waring Blender and the Pennsylvanians, ran his music empire from here. Eventually, the property became abandoned until 2005. We've been working tirelessly to restore it back to its old self. And at any time when people come and visit, they'll see a project going on. It's a kind of a living museum. Now on select days, you can take an official tour around the castle in and step outside to board the trolley. To have the trolley back means a great deal to us because it, it was a, a, a part of the, the history of, of the Castle Inn. Thanks to a nearby train station, Delaware Water Gap was once the country's second most popular inland destination, hosting half a million tourists each year. The trolley line ran locally among dozens of inns and hotels through 1928 awesome tour awesome area I mean yeah, I definitely recommend for anyone that uh, that wants to learn about the area jump on the tour come visit the Poconos it's pretty cool so in Delaware Water Gap there was a lot of copper mining the tour teaches more than just local history it also serves to give visitors ideas about places to explore in the Poconos all from the comfort of this recently refurbished open-air trolley we hope everybody comes and supports it because that's the only way it's going to stay around. As long as everybody comes and rides it and supports it, then it will stay around. The hour-long tour wraps up back here at the Castle Inn where you can end on a sweet note in this vintage ice cream shop restored from the 1900s. In addition to the historic trolley tours, you can also board a trolley for a hop-on, hop-off wine tour, or even a brew tour. Find more information on PoconoDayTripper.com. For the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Pocono Tourism YouTube channel and click the bell button below to be the first to watch new videos. You can also click the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Pocono Mountains Magazine.